Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Arkansas has looked almost unbeatable the last few weeks. They're finally playing the way they knew they could before the season started. You know how this game is. You're only as good as your last one. So they're going to have to prove it on the field again today. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. a main source of agricultural production. Today becomes the site for some hard-hitting football action. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Ready to get this one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. Poland takes it at the 8. He's taken down at the 30. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. made the 27-yard line. The penetration by the defense was so good on that play that it didn't matter who the ball carrier was. Anyone would have been brought down for a loss. Second and 13. Ball on their own 27. My five, my five, my five. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Now he tries to buy some time. Tackle at the 33. That makes it 37. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five-receiver look. And they make the stop around the 38-yard line. That's your goal on every possession. Force a three and out, and don't allow the offense to get into any sort of rhythm. The defense decided to go conservative, sitting back in cover three. They wanted to make sure the receiver was not going to get open past the first down line on that play. He's to the 40. Tackle at the 43-yard line. Arkansas staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road. I think their staff's got them ready to prove them wrong right here. I, I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk. And I think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory. I, you know, sometimes when you hit some adversity like that, you see teams circle the wagons. And I, and I really believe this week they've done a great job of doing that. Now they just have to go out and execute the plan and go out and win this game. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. From the 43-yard line, first down. He's tackled at the 42-yard line. Quick throw, and he's taken down around the 34-yard line. The Razorbacks always have guys that are near the top statistically, and that's no exception today. We're really looking forward to watching this kid play. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. bring him down at the 32-yard line. This is just a great effort by the offensive line. The defense was ready for that run, but the big guys pushed him back, and the drive will keep going. Nice 
run up the middle. Gaining four yards. That makes it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 28. At about the five-yard line. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. All the big boys are on the field now. Both teams have their big sets out there. They'll work the left side. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That brings him second and goal. And this play is number eight on the drive. Man left, man left. I got 40, I got 40. Fires out quickly, incomplete. Terrific coverage. And when you clog up passing lanes like that, you could force a quarterback to make some poor decisions. Almost got themselves a turnover, too. Third down and goal to go. Ball on the one-yard line. And he throws it away. Arkansas could take the lead with this field goal. It's up, and it sails through the uprights. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Fielded at the 9. He's out to the 30. Fumble! He picks it up. And he's tackled at the 35-yard line. The Razorbacks are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, you've talked to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on? And what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down like this. Ready? He's taken down around the 44-yard line. And he's tackled at the 45 yard line. How about the big fellows up front? This line will have to continue to play like that to build the consistency to help this offense be effective. Try and scramble, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. Third down, and they need to get it to the 24. Got it on a quick throw. Tackle made at the 30-yard line. Oh, we had a pitcher's duel in that low-scoring first quarter. 3-0, Arkansas. Back to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. hit before he can go anywhere. Hands off 
12 up the middle and stuffed. One yard loss for the halfback. That'll bring up second and 11. Under heavy pressure, he gets sacked on the play. Loss of three yards on the play. That brings us third and 14. And they'll probably try to throw here as they line up on third down and 14. They'll line up with five wide receivers. That'll bring up fourth and long, and we should be seeing the kicker here. Good stand by the defense to keep them out of the end zone on this drive. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Watch 14, watch 14. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. And so now the ball's turned over on downs. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Arkansas has a three-point lead. Would have been a big play by the defense. He can't hold it. Yeah, the quarterback's breathing a huge sigh of relief because he got away with throwing what should have been an interception. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 26. They'll wrestle him down to the backfield. it downfield. Boy, that hurts the offense to have to go three and out. They're going to have to think about how to get something going the next time they come out. Dixon is the punter. Holden takes it at the 43. He showed a good burst there. A fumble really hurt this team's last drive. So let's see if they can make up for that blunder on this drive. Sometimes when you lose the football, you start to focus a little bit more. So a turnover can actually work out in your favor. Zips it to the back. He's gobbled up in the backfield. McFadden brings him down at the 48-yard line. That'll bring up second and 12. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. Knocked out of bounds around the 40-yard line. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Boy, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. Slings it. And he shoved out of bounds at the 24-yard line. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. And he's level at the 23. Osborne only picks up about a yard there on the option. And you've got the experience that this safety has. You can read plays very quickly and be in just the right position to make a stop near the line of scrimmage. Oh, a big hit there to stop him. Number 25 on the tackle at the 20 yard line. That'll make it 35. Tackle 
Pacheco at the 11 yard line. If you're the defense, who do you try to cover this guy with? He's too fast for most linebackers. He's too big for most corners. You have to rely on your safeties, who generally aren't very good in one on one coverage. Gets to about the 11 yard line. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. Arkansas State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. This is the eighth play of this drive. He has all day, but scrambles out, and they got him. With the sack. No game. No game. That, brings that brings up third, up third and ten. ten. Hey, watch the slam. Watch the slam. My five. My five. Check 50. Check 50. Quick throw incomplete. One of his receiver. You know, when you feel and pressure like that, the worst receiver. thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Arkansas State is down three and looking to tie it up. The kick is up, and it is good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Looks like they're ready for the kick. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. They come out in a five-wide set. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense, and in this case, he did. Nice job. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Tackles him hard at the 42. Call it a gain of five yards. That makes it first and ten. Hey, he wants it all going long. And he's hit immediately. The Razorbacks use their second timeout. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 19-yard line. Starks picks up only about a yard there on the speed option. He steps up. Lost the ball. Fumble. Look at him go. Inside the 10, and a huge touchdown play. He makes the PAT. Winston has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Taken at the five. Brought down at the 30. Can this defense play any better? I mean, these guys have a great tradition. They live up to the billing today. Now we're starting to see whether or not this team can get it done. And if they are, then I think the defense should go down to the offensive side of the field, talk to their own offense, and try to get them fired up to go out there and get some more points on the board. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Throws complete. He's got space to work. And they make the stop at the 43. First down. Slam, slam, slam. Five wide. Gets it out quickly. He's tackled at the 38. Call it again, 19 yards. 
First down. Check 15. Check 15. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he is drilled at the 28-yard line. Tidwell on the tackle at the 28-yard line. That makes it first and 10. They'll spread the field with five wide. Got a man, watch out here. And he's taken down at the 17. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. So with a half ending, they're just going to try to put three points up on the board. Kicks away, and they tack on three points. Harris looks ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 29. Low scoring first half of play, but a close game. 10-6, Arkansas State. David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 31-yard line. Everywhere we go in college football, everybody's got a T-shirt that says finish, finish, whether that means finish the game or finish the drive. Right now, this offense is moving the ball, but they're not finishing the drive. they got to execute better down closer to their opponent's territory. Gets the ball here and brought down in the backfield. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. Gets it, he's in space. They'll bring him down around the 36-yard line. Call it a gain of eight yards. Third down. That's a great tackle at the 42-yard line. Gain of six yards. First down. From their own 42-yard line, it's first down. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Rose, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. it in first down and he's knocked out of bounds first down. from the 35 yard line first down Wants to throw outside. Tipped away. He threw that to a guy who was well covered and it almost got intercepted. Yeah, he's very lucky. That ball was only tipped. Man left, man left. Go down, go down. Come on, you Looks for his running back incomplete. Here's the eighth play of the series. They come out in an empty backfield. He passes it. You know, they did a great job here of not just getting past the first down marker, but picking up some major yards on the play.
First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Throws it, and it's caught for the touchdown. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he hits the PAT. A nice nine-play, 70-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. Arkansas to kick. And he'll return this one from the seventh. And he's tackled at the 24. Boy, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. This is exciting. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. James takes it up the middle. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Him hard at the 20. That's a loss of six yards. That brings us third and 14. It's third down and 14 yards to go now after that setback by the sack. He's going right. So the stop there on third and long, and that's going to bring up a punting situation. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. Miller is back deep to return. at the 47. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. The Red Wolves have really surprised everybody in this football game. They have not been intimidated at all, which is great to see. The attitude and effort of this team has put them in a position where they got a shot to win this game here in the second half. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Arkansas is up by three. He's got an opening. They go to the left for a nice game. Call it a gain of six yards. That, that makes, makes it first and ten. ten. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Dumps it complete over the middle. Tackle made at about the 11. That's makes the tackle at the 11 yard line. First down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 11. Catches it, and that's all. Edwards gains six yards with a short completion. That brings him second and five. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. Third and five. Ball on the five yard line. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. The ball just sailed on him and he knows it. He'll get it next time.
It's up, and it's good. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. Action going on in College Station, and for Texas A&M, they're in danger of losing two straight. Cage's ability in the passing game is completely evident already with a touchdown pass. The Red Raiders are out front, 7-0. 16 to 10 in our game here, Reese. Harris, ready to kick. Number 22, Foley from the seven. And down he goes at the 32 yard line. Arkansas's coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great, there's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, they've just been so conservative. So predictable, it's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. Run play and he'll lose yards. That's his last of one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. Makes the catch and look out. And down he goes at the 46. There was good pressure coming in, but he stood his ground and found his teammate for a nice game. Balls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. Around the 31 yard line. That brings us second and one. He's taken down at the 33. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That makes it third and three. And that's it for quarter number three. Folks, we got a great game on our hands. The Razorbacks in front by six. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. He's at the 20. Makes it out to about the 16. Brought down at the 14. Tackle the 17 yard line. That was well defended by this defense. The offensive line is so concerned with their penetrating abilities that these linebackers are able to roam free and make plays like that. It's third and long, and at this stage of this game, they probably have to go to the air. He gets it up, and he's got it. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese, time to check out what's going on in Norman. And for Tulsa, they're looking to win two in a row. Tulsa leading the way, 3-0. Meanwhile, let's take a look at some scores from around the country. This one's been entertaining us all day long. And for Texas A&M, they take to the air and find Pater. A touchdown apiece, 7-7. Field goal difference in this one, Reese, 16-13. Arkansas State is lining up to kick this one off. He just drills this one. He'll return it from the one. Across the 30. Across midfield. And they finally make the stop at the 34-yard line. Flag down, and I'm not sure when it was thrown. Let's find out. Receiving team. one will put the offense in a hole and they'll try to get some of that back on this upcoming play 
Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Arkansas has a three-point lead. He's into the open field. He gets to about the 34-yard line. That's good for a gain of 17 yards. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 34-yard line. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Quick throw, and he's taken down at the 50-yard line. That's good for a gain of 16 yards. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 50-yard line. Quick strike to the receiver. And he's leveled at the 48-yard line. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here. Recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. Inside the 40. Just under three to go in regulation. Wants to go long and does. Got it to the senior. And he scores. Touchdown. Tacks on the extra point. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. In the Big 12, they spread you out and pitch that magic bean everywhere. We've been watching this thing all day long. And for Texas A&M, they can pitch that hill. Absolutely lethal through the air, and it results in a touchdown. And for Ball, he's thrown for a pair of touchdowns. Texas A&M leads it 14-7 late in the first quarter. In other action, let's take a look at some scores around the country. The top teams roll. And we've been keeping an eye on this one all day. And for Tulsa, they've moved into the lead. The Golden Hurricane lead, 6-0. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Number 23, to return. Poland fields it at the 7. Tackle at the 26-yard line. The Razorbacks' defense came to play, and, man, they have played beautifully. How many do they have dressed out there? 12 or 13 <laughs> defenders? I mean, they're flying all over the field, and this poor offense just can't move the ball. They have no chance. Three points was the result of their last drive as the offense heads out for another. They come out in a five-wide set. Scrambling around. They'll bring him down at the 33-yard line. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Caught it, but they're going to lose yards. He will tackle immediately. Loss of two. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Just over two minutes in the game. Throws to the back quickly, off his hands, incomplete. James, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and four. Roger, 
Throws to the tailback, incomplete. I think they had to go for it given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. The offense was able to punch it in the end zone on that last drive. They'll come back out looking for more of the same. You know, when this defense went over to the sideline based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator has got to be livid. Uh, he's got to get in their face. He's got to challenge them. He's got to get their emotions going. Because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the 27-yard line. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Arkansas State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. That's a great tackle at the 16-yard line. The Red Wolves, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. From the 16-yard line, first down. They make the stop at the 18-yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 16-yard line. And so it's another third down upcoming here. The 10. Touchdown, Razorbacks. Splits the uprights with the extra point. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. The Sooners entered the game ranked sixth in the country, but feeling the heat to hold their lofty spot. Let's take yet another peek at this game. Back and forth they go to heavyweight, slugging it out. And for Holmes, he's caught one for a touchdown. Oklahoma has the edge, 14-6. Thanks, Reese. 30 13 in our game. Arkansas lines up for the kickoff. Poland takes it to 12, and they push him out at the 29. Last time out, the offense wasn't able to convert on fourth down. Well, this offense is going to have to do a better job on this drive. Remember the last time, they went for it on fourth down and came up short. Now they get the football back. Let's see how they can do. Fired quickly, and he's got his man. Stops the clock with a spike. Makes it second and ten. From their own 44-yard line. Second down. Mike five. Mike five. Blue 19. Blue 19. Nice run there. That's the end of the ball game and our final score in this one, 30-13, Arkansas. Arkansas State. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.